Everybody gets involved and around the cage. Lillard's got a hold of Scotty Pellerin. He slashed Tommy Brasso and after he made the save. Protecting his goaltender. That's what defense need to do. And doing a good job with it. Matthew Barnaby and Pronger. A little bluff to the face. You take, you take this trade. There you go, right? There they go. Pronger trying to throw those big right hands. And Barnaby backing off here now. He just yeah, no wait. Wait in the weeds. By this time, he's just holding it. He's asking the linesman, Jerry Gauthier, don't touch this, leave me alone. Let's go. Let's go. Those punches aren't even connecting to Matthew. He knows how to fight. Longer gets his arm free out of the jersey now. There he goes. Now that, that's. All right, he's taking those punches. Let's see if Barnaby can get anything to come back at him now. This is usually where Barnaby will. Try and muscle up and uh, come back at somebody. Pronger's awfully strong. The Heisman telling him to stay out. And Pro right. Pronger realizes he's tired now. That's why he's grabbing onto Matthew. He's not going to let Matthew have a chance later on in a fight. Looks like Matthew got cut up off the bridge of his nose. See him cut up a little bit. See the blood a little. Actually, no, I mean, just a. Uh, oh, it looks like it was just a shadow. A little on the lip. Chris Pronger and Matthew Barnaby will take uh, respective seats on the penalty box. And we'll see if there's any other penalties uh, issued. Slager may pick one up for the Penguins. 7.40 the time of all these penalties. And we put that little clip together of Pronger being frustrated. And then right after that, he goes into one of these... No, so he's out of the game for he's out of for next for at least five minutes, possibly longer if he is. Uh, they can't call any roughing penalties. Before then, it's only a matter of time before Matthew gets his breath back and starts giving it to him on the other penalty box. Neither one of them are saying much right now. They're pretty exhausted. Well, yeah. Made the Penguin shorthanded. Well, we got some men's basketball coming your way Saturday. We don't have a lot of people who really have it come naturally. And check this out Matt Barnaby and Chris Pronger. And whether Matt Barnaby wants to, he is in it. He's in it with a giant. And Matt Barnaby's doing the smart thing here. Just hang on, baby. Don't even worry about trying to throw a punch. Pronger is 6'6. Six, six. Matt Barnaby is close to 6 feet, but Pronger outweighs him by about 50 pounds. Pronger has no intention of stopping you. No, either. he doesn't. He's even going for the body punches. But Matt Barnaby's got a real good grip of the throwing arm. Keep Pronger trying to get him loose. Oh, problem for Matt Barnaby. Pronger was able to get his arm out of his jersey. Bear in mind, Barnaby's coming off that concussion. Oh, yeah. start to move in here. See that? Did you see Matt Barnaby say no? They looked like they were going to move in, and Matt Barnaby, I could swear, he said no, no. And the problem, too, for Matt Barnaby, Gary, is that we know that Pronger's got the stamina of a marathon runner. He isn't even breathing heavy. He's amazing. Pronger isn't even breathing hard out there, and when you go through any kind of a tussle like that, most players have a hard time getting to the penalty box. Well, Matt Barnaby's got a bit of a cut in his lip, and as long as he didn't get hit in the jaw real hard and hopefully is smiling. And I think that's the best point, Gary, the one you brought up, that he's just coming back from that, that second bout with a concussion. If he had been punched and if he had shown concussion symptoms, that would be his third concussion in about a month. And uh, there aren't many people that can continue playing if it's number three in a month. So he, he did well just to avoid the, the big hammer of Pronger. So Barnaby and...